ओके आई विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू रन मॉन्टिकालो सिम्युलेशन माय फोकस वुड बी ऑन हाउ टू रन मॉन्टिकालो सिम्युलेशन इन मैटलैब सो द द मैटलैब गिव्स यू एन ऑप्शन टू रन मॉन्टिकालो सिम्युलेशन बट मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स होवर्स अराउंड द ऑटो रिग्रेसिव मॉडल्स now to understand monte carlo simulation we have to look at a few things here first we will look at uh, what monte carlo is a few basic examples then we will look at uh, what time series is then we will look at uh, the important of uh, residuals uh, finally we will look at a regression model with uh, arima where errors would uh, automatically get added uh, so that we can get the different path using the project or the simulate uh, button and then we'll use the reg arima class now you can read a little bit about this on mathwork.com uh a trouble that you might find here is that you might not be able to connect things let me use uh, excel to talk a little bit about uh, what we are actually doing so suppose we have uh, some reading in the x and y axis that uh, goes something like this and this is our uh, today's point and this is like some years ago and now we want to predict how this would go into the future now what matlab uh, does is that you can start with the auto regressive model this would uh, regress each time value with the past error with the past value and with the past uh, moving average so that's what uh, the auto regressive model would do once you are through with that uh, and you understand that uh, value at time t is dependent on value at time t minus 1 t minus 2 error moving average and so on then you will run this model and you will add an error term which would be a draw from uh, many random numbers but it would be scaled up with the uh, standard deviation of the errors of that fit so once you do that you will get uh, all those paths of different error so let me show you this using an excel because uh, maybe direct uh, running into matlab would become tricky so to run monte carlo simulation here you need to first understand what we are doing so we are taking past data fitting it in models and then using random draw of errors making paths for the future so this is what we are doing here now time series uh, arima this uh, is the model that we believe explains the phenomena so for example if you believe that uh, stock price or uh, economic uh, growth factors like gdp and they depend on the past gdp plus a moving average plus uh, some error so you'll regress that and you'll predict the future so an understanding of what arima models are becomes important here now they come from a draw of the past values when we fit our model with the real values so when you have your model and you fit it uh, with the past but you have actual values of the past so whatever is the error term that is the error and you want these kind of errors to uh, get added on your future terms <coughs> regression model with arima adder uh, model so this is then using this and project and simulate commands execute the path and gives you the output <coughs> so this is how things would go you need to first look at uh, what the monte carlo is so that uh, you can understand what we are doing what are the past values uh, what are the economic factors that describe the past values Uh, once you are done with that you need to make sure that you develop an arima equation now developing this arima equation becomes an important thing you might uh, loop through many arima equation to find out the lowest mean square error or you might uh, go there and uh, <coughs> pick some uh, some or the other arima model that although has a little more more error but you believe that it makes more sense 
you can uh, use a for loop or various condition to loop through these arima models and get the best arima model so the focus would be here on the residuals on how these residuals are behaving and these residuals uh, are actually our foundation to develop the future path because this is the only factor that would uh, make all those paths different that we want to predict so you need to run the regression model with arima and that is then using reg arima class i'm going to show you the link here and then you will use project and simulate command to <coughs> actually get the path so these are the steps of uh, running monte carlo simulation in matlab <coughs> so most of our things hover around the arima series error in the econometric toolbox of matlab <coughs> so let me talk about something here <coughs> so you say and and remember that in time series you will have just uh, one set of values so you'll have just values and you will have time so this is like uh, 2000 uh, say 14 2004 2005 <coughs> and this is your current and this is your predicted you have some values 12 13 15 17 19 23 24 25 26 29 so this is how your things have behaved something that has been increasing so you'll just these you'll use these values so arima would run on the green part to get you the best fit of arima models you will have lag plus error plus moving average that you are going to use to fit in and this would be your uh, projected values but this might contain uh, many parts so green is your projected values okay so in green you can have one value but you can have various path and what you will get is something uh, like a histogram where you will get uh, a mean and uh, uh, a distribution of values so at the end time you will get a histogram and you will say that okay by 2020 my value would be 50 but it could be 49 and so on so then you, you can draw those intervals and say that okay I'm 90% sure that my values would be between 40 and 60 and so on so those histograms would be at the end of the period to predict where we would be in 2021 so that is uh, how this would run now this would all happen in the MATLAB framework where uh, it becomes a little bit tricky because many things get uh, hidden off so let me take you through to three important links here so this is one link on how to run Monte Carlo simulation with ARIMA errors most of the time Monte Carlo simulation we would work on uh, the ARIMA errors on the time series model more than any other thing uh, there might be possible that we'll build up many ARIMA models for different phenomena we will add them we will uh, say that this uh, all these are uh, dependent uh, on each other where we'll use uh, Kolsky transform to find out how residuals are related but that part we are not looking at so if you look at uh, 2 and 1 just observe here the uh, auto regressive moving average uh, you are using t minus 1 t minus 2 and you are using a uh, uh, one time uh, before so then all the thing lies with error so when you are going to make this you are going to find out how things would uh, be in the future you will have these error terms uh, where you will use these uh, disturbances so just observe here this is the u hat and the econometric toolbox will uh, simulate for for you so first uh, 
you, you will get this equation and you can get this equation using the reg Arima class here which will uh, give you the coefficients of moving average, autoregressive, integrated term, multiplicative seasonality and all those things and once you are done with that uh, you, would, you would use simulate and forecast to actually draw out the future now what this would do is that this would automatically uh, take in all those uh, past uh, errors the standard deviation of those errors then it would take uh, uh, an uh, normally distributed error it would scale that up and it will give you uh, the error that you require so that is done using the Monte Carlo simulations of regression model with ARIMA errors so if you observe this uh, you've got number of observations and you have got the time series MD1 so this is how you will get the uh, number of parts uh, what uh, you want to do with it a similar exercise in uh, uh, in R to understand what was going on so in, in, uh, in other simple words uh, we are first running the ARIMA and then we are uh, getting this from ARIMA uh, reg ARIMA class and then we are using the project and simulate command to actually draw those parts uh, for the future so we, we can do this with an SNP model we can bring down the SNP model we can fit an ARIMA model and then we can use it to uh, predict the future I'll add one more link here which is important for you so that was about Monte Carlo simulation in MATLAB I hope this was useful for you